The story of this song started way before the time of shooting this music video. Actually, I've never worked so much in one tune before. The goal was to create something unique musically that will take Phoenix Rise to another level and show the traits of our own style, not to copy anybody. Have we made it? Judge by yourself by listening and watching to the final result. So I started with a six-note motif and composed nearly seven-minute song around it, adding harmony, chords, riffs, the form and all the little details like accents and stuff. The solo was also written note by note. Then I wrote the bass line and worked with Hannes on drum parts. After recording all the instrumental parts, we were ready to work on vocals and lyrics and also recorded it in the studio. By the way, Recording the guitars only took me 11 hours despite the fact I was very well prepared. What can I say? Not an easy stuff and quite a lot of parts. After numerous obstacles connected with crossing the Polish-German border during Covid era and logistics, we finally set a date and decided to use our two cars instead of renting a van, which was more cost-effective and easier as we live in various places. In the car number one there was me and a video guy plus photo slash video equipment. The second car was driven by the bass player and he picked up the vocalist and the second video guy. We had an 1100 km or 680 mile trip ahead. So now let me take you for a ride and show a behind the scenes footage of creating the video for Off Glowing again. Enjoy! <laughs> So finally, after a long drive, we've met at the final destination. It was time to sleep and recharge our batteries. We knew that the next day will bring us a lot of challenges. Siemaneczko, jesteśmy w Niemczech. Kręcimy teledysk dla Jarosława Węckowskiego. Tym razem projekt nie będzie nazywał się Jerosy. Ani Jarocy. Jak często mówiliście, gitarowa grupa bez bumerstwa. Najlepsza grupa gitarowa w Polsce. Pozdrawiamy Was. A tak swoją drogą, to tam stoją ładne gipsony. 
Zobaczcie sobie, rozpisujemy teraz ujęcia. Jesteśmy, mamy 13.40, część już z tych ujęć było rozpisywane. Natomiast cały czas mózg pracuje i wymyślamy kolejne rzeczy. Przypominamy sobie, co będzie do zrobienia. I już na planie będziemy tę listę po prostu odkreślać. Dzięki temu, że przygotowujemy się wcześniej do tego typu rzeczy, mamy potem większy zapas na kreatywność, na to, co wyjdzie. Ale zróbmy to, co wiemy, że jest do zrobienia, a potem zróbmy jeszcze coś ekstra. I prawdopodobnie to ekstra, które zrobimy na planie, to będzie bread and butter tego teledysku. As the arrival at the shooting site was scheduled for 6 p.m., we started the next day with some visiting of Schwäbisch Hall, the small town we've been slipping in. Absolutely stunning place, I must admit. We also ate a solid meal at a local restaurant. Then we were ready for a showtime. Fajną ekipę, fajnych ludzi. Zobaczymy, co z tego wyjdzie. Myślę, że będzie zajebiście. I have to say something. Without this guy, the whole video shooting wouldn't even be possible at that time. It's truly rare to meet somebody that helpful. Definitely one of the most solid and trustworthy people that I've ever met. I'm really grateful. We all are. Thanks again, Łukasz. No i w sumie to wszystko mam. Jest bank, jest stacja, tam jest netto, tu jest kebab. Słaby, ale jest. Najlepszy kebab w Polsce, prawda? No i w Warszawie, na dworcu centralnym. No. <laughs> no, drodzy Państwo, jest... 17.37 So we will be shooting a video here As you can see, things are happening Okay No dzień dobry Państwu, jak widzicie, jaki klip, tak jak gwiazda, jaka gwiazda, taki klip. Gołymi łapami trzeba wyjmować, do czego to podobne, skandal. <grym> nie no, oczywiście wyciągamy sprzęt, był tutaj niezły Tetris do opierdzielenia, ale się udało i nie trzeba było zbrać żadnego busa, natomiast jest to wszystko z matematyczną, chirurgiczną wręcz może precyzją opracowane. Także zaczynamy, o dziwo się wyspałem. Będzie tak. Ja p... dole. Tutaj. W tym miejscu. Nowy parkiurajski. Już nie lubię. The hell is he talking about? Zobaczcie na przykład. Taka prosta rzecz. Może stanowić scenografię, tak? Ja to widziałem. Widziałem to na zdjęciach, które dostaliśmy od Lukasa. Ale na żywo wygląda to zupełnie inaczej. Dużo lepiej. Zobaczcie, wszystkie folie tutaj, te foliowe ścianki, były przezroczyste. Jest jedna, która jest czerwona. Mamy wzięte odrobinę zapasu światła. Myślę, że wykorzystam to dzisiaj do klipu. Then Hannes arrived and we've met for the first time in person. 
It was the time to set everything up. In the meantime, we ate some pizza and just hung out a little. <laughs> So no carpet, okay? No carpet? <laughs> yeah. It's a bit slippery. It will slide. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have some sandbags. If you okay, yeah, yeah. It might help. I guess it will work. Okay, so so no yeah. carpet, right? Finally, we used sandbags and surprisingly floor mats from my Honda Accord coupe. Nie filmuj tego, to nie jest piec, na którym nagrałem kawałek. To jest jakiś ch**. Damn, I wish Asama had a pedal. But they have this out for like, I mean, I think for 10 years. He was absolutely the best from the ball. Oh, yeah? Yes, yeah. <laughs> crazy okay. man. He's, he's crazy. And, uh, you know, uh, Petrucci was okay. It was, was kind of good, like Petru Petrucci style. It's, it's, it's style, a, I guess. Actually, the style changed. Did you yeah. Know this? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I think, what was the album? The black one. I was picking really fast on the oil, but not like that. Okay. Actually, it's the metal album, you know. Actually, I don't know. And. Uh, but, uh, Right. So that's why he changed his style because it was all about phrasing, and then he would play solos with like no phrasing at all. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this orange? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe it's because of the beard and gym yeah. time, or <laughs> well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I also think it's related somehow. <laughs> Okay. That's the thing with working out. <laughs> workout is great. Too much workout makes people kind of stupid. So, hmm. the sliding is definitely a problem. Um, we have something to fix it. Okay. Uh, okay. Wczoraj jeszcze działało, czyli w nocy. No poza tym fajnie było na Mike Ingoff, a jakbyśmy z Hanesem usiedli na chwilę i się zagrali na przykład. Marszał, nie? Tego będzie potrzebowało. Nie? Nie? Paga, gotowi? At this point, I decided to show Hannes how to actually play drums, and Hannes decided to show me how to play the guitar the correct way. Impressive. Very innovative. Yeah. Oh, wait. A minor. Impressive. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. For you it's ugly or it's kind of... No, I like it. I think it's cool. A lot of uh, kind of cool... You cool. could... Um, I guess what people re probably refer to is the color because it's wooden. Yeah. And maybe the they would like one. it better, better if it's black. Yeah, the, the yeah. second one is black actually. But... Uh, the gold? I mean it's a look. At, you know? At least it's, kind it's of a look. It's baroque look I think. It is? Ah. Okay. 
nie wypinaj okay. tego. Dobra. Kurwa. No zepsujesz to stary. Bo to się zbiłeś, no kurwa Nigdy ja. Nie to małem, <laughs> Widzisz, że coś się rusza, ty to wypinasz. No, no. Nie wiem, nie Mamy godzinę 20.45, planowaliśmy zdjęcia od 21.00. W związku z tym, że zajdzie światło górne, e, światło na zewnątrz, światło zastane i w hali zrobi się ciemno, myślę, że plan jest całkiem nieźle zrealizowany. Za pół godziny zaczynamy nagrać. Znajdujemy się na planie teledysku. Po pierwszym tejku, tejku instrumentalnym, tejków zostało jeszcze jakieś 30 parę. Także szykuje się wspaniała noc pełna cudów. Opole to przy tym mały pikuś.
Dzień dobry. Kręcimy. Kręcimy. Będziemy teraz również operować światłem, także Mike Kinkow się kończy. Zaczynamy dubla. Zapraszam.
At 3 a.m. we were almost done. Exhausted, but happy. Everybody did an amazing job. No moaning, no whining, no excuses, despite finishing in the middle of the night. Just a perfect team. In the meantime, we had a quick photo shoot and I asked Hannes if he can record a drum playthrough at his place. Finally, we decided to do it right here, right now, as we have all the equipment ready. Now, only an inch or left to record and then we were ready to pack up. Ajoły. Nogi nie widać. Tego nie widać. The song that you are about to hear is about a very common disease of today's world. Ale nie, w sensie ja. A, dobra, bo jeszcze miałem jedno słowo powiedzieć. Ok. Dobra, cicho tam. Don't hesitate to ask for professional help. I to jest najlepsza nara. 4.30 Nie jesteśmy już po Ale wyszło grubo Łukasz zapytał Czy jestem zadowolony No wyszło spoko W sensie raczej chyba jestem na tej wznoszącej nie? Okay. Ale e, był taki moment I wy o tym nie wiecie Ale mogę zdradzić Że prawdopodobnie pierwsze tejki w ogóle nie wejdą bo nie podobało mi się po paru dublach, nie podobały mi się niebieskie świecówki za Hanefem. Dlatego je wyłączyłem. Ale zwróciłem uwagę, właśnie już ich nie, ma, nie, już nie ma kompletnie później. Ja wiedziałem, jakie wyłączyć. Ale przecież Jarek zaczął pracę z pracy są w cieniu, to jest brutalny sposób, no ale... Ale zrzucając materiał, zobaczyłem te ujęcia i znowu jest to w górę, tak? Okay. Ja nie wiem, czy da się tak powtórzyć. Naprawdę mam szczerze, że się współczuję, bo myślałem, że to się bardziej odbywa tylko na pozytywnych emocjach. Unfortunately, the hotel didn't allow us to stay a little longer, so we were a bunch of zombies the next day after only three hours of sleep and 1100 kilometers ahead. Ale wspaniała melodia. Nagrania z piwnic. Spani? At this point, Jankes, the bass player, and the video guys came back home. But as we have two petrol heads in the band, we decided to stay for an additional 24 hours at Lukas' place. We wanted to visit a legendary Porsche museum in Stuttgart. And the Stuttgart itself, of course. Low energy, but definitely worth it. Just check it out. <laughs> O, oh, szczęski na fajnie ciepło, to jest życie. Porsche Museum Stuttgart. Unreal. To jest pierwsza dziewięć dziewiętnastka. Taka masakra. Ta fura. To jest 959 Porsche. Szok. I nie do wierzania.
So the next day it was a time for us to go home. Niemcy, kraj wspaniałych autostrad, kraj możliwości, no i kraj, w którym się znajdujemy. Proszę, sławny człowiek z YouTube'a obok mnie. Kolejny dzień ostatni. Dzień ostatni, witam wszystkich serdecznie, jesteśmy w kolektyce. Kuj w dubie, gdzie autostradki są bezpieczne, jak widać, a instalacje LPG w rakietach mają ładest. To oczywiście ważne badanie. Także tak to wygląda. Akurat jesteśmy na odcinku, gdzie mamy ograniczenie. Ale właśnie przed chwilą żeśmy zapierdzielali 220 legalnie. 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 Zgodnie z literą prawa. <grym> tak, tak, tak. Zaskakujące prawo, ale działa. Jakieś wrażenia? Powiesz coś po, po klipie. Powiesz, że jesteś najdalej od domu. Tak, to jest życiu. zdecydowanie e... największy dystans, jaki przebyłem a, no, w ogóle. Tym bardziej na, na klip, na jakąś robotę muzyczną. Także wrażenia są... Cóż... Nowe. nowe. Zupełnie nowe. Robota poszła, i kręcenie podobało Ci się? Sam proces... Dobrze, bardzo, bardzo dobrze to przebiegło. No, duża robota włożona w organizację opłaciła się. Jednak przygotowanie zapewniło, o tutaj wiatraczki, e, przygotowanie zapewniło jakąś pewność i możliwość skupienia się na tym, co najważniejsze w tej zabawie, czyli na odpowiednim wykonaniu tego klipu. Jak najbardziej pozytywne doświadczenie i można w spokoju oczekiwać efektów. Finally, we were home. I was so exhausted it took me two days to recover. A few days later, I received a message from Hannes. Let me read it for you. Hey Jaroslav, once again, thank you very much for having me play for you. It was a pleasure. The song turned out great and the video shot was awesome. I can't wait to see the final result. It was also cool to hang out with you guys. You got great musicians and crew with top professional mentality and attitude. When you have the playthrough video ready, I would be delighted to put it on my channel. Well, thanks Hannes for those heartwarming words. It was a pleasure to work with you too. After a few weeks we started shooting again. First of all we shot the acoustic intro part at the local music school in Płock, Poland. Tak będzie wyglądać dzisiaj kręcąko. In the meantime, we've met with Jordan and Łukasz to shoot some extras. Moi drodzy, zapraszam serdecznie na usługi. Jak widzicie, makijaże u Jarosława Dyckowskiego. Proszę bardzo, takie robię tutaj wspaniałe projekty na sesje zdjęciowe, teledyski, takie rzeczy. Oferuję też moją specjalność, czyli oczywiście szanowanie kutasa pod pumeksem, pod napletkiem. Zapraszam, zwłaszcza tych wszystkich pięknych chłopaków. Stary. Jak pan Gwiazdor się czuje? Czuję się jak Krzysztof Ibisz. Najlepiej na świecie. O kurde, czyli masz minus dwa lata zajęliście. Ja pierdolę, zawsze to samo. <laughs> At the same time, we were in a hurry to find a proper actor for the movie-like scenes. Finally, we found Kamil Jaworski, a physical education teacher from mine and Łukasz's high school. Believe it or not, this guy had zero experience. Despite the fact I know very little about acting, Kamil came out truly convincing and on the other hand, 
going to cooperate. In consequence, really easy to work with. It was surprising. Usually professional vibe and zero experience do not come hand in hand. Here we have some casting shots. You can find some of them in the actual music video. Of course, we had a lot of fun shooting the scenes. Mały backstage, chociaż się przykręci. Dobra, zróbmy ten spot, załadujmy to. Na łące wtęcie też myślę. Ok? Ja on zatrzyma. Jak się, jakby się piłka zatrzymała, to ty ją wybij. Dobra. Ok? No, śmiało. Ja Dobra, moja dokumentacja z planu, kolejny dzień. Znowu jaki elegancki. Pan aktor się wiesz, albo po prostu już nie może wytrzymać granie w tak chłopym klipie. Co, co, co z... <laughs> Co zrobić? No. Patrzę na to. Kamera. Poszła. Now it was time to shoot the underwater scenes. I had a few really cool underwater shots done with my phone while diving, but unfortunately it leaked and died immediately. That is nie wystarczy być gitarzystą. For me, extremely interesting was the scene with some pills. Wukash, aka video guy number one, had an idea and bought the empty pills. My task was to fill them with sand. It took me half an hour and we had only one chance. For me, the final result is just amazing. After closing the last scene, we spent totally countless hours working on editing. Of course, I didn't touch neither the computer physically nor the color grading and stuff. But to be honest, the final shape of the music video that you may watch now is a mix of mine and Wukash's ideas. Of course, in the meantime, we had to work on another matter and choose the final mix. Believe it or not, the final mix is a 14th or 17th version. I don't remember right now, but I know one thing. It was just crazy. Of course, we had to prepare various mixes for the guitar, bass and drum playthroughs. Dzień dobry panu. Proszę bardzo, chórki z kościoła. Jedziemy? Distant dream of blowing again in this absurd world. I'm really happy that you guys have watched this moment. What can I say? For you, it's seven fucking minutes. For the bandmates and the crew, it was months of hard work. For me, it was nearly two years from start to end. Shitloads of money spent. A break not taken. Family time not spent. Vacation not went on. Friends not met. And new guitar courses not released. Money not earned. Episodes for this channel not uploaded. 
movie not watched, guitar lessons not given, a few road trips not done, creativity overload, tons of tough decisions made, sleepless nights, struggle, anger, uncertainty, doubt, sometimes even helplessness. In one word, sacrifice. And a few things that you will never know about and believe me, you guys, to be delicate, will be surprised. But you know, facts are facts. We did it. It's something that can never ever be taken away from us. Even if we lose our health, a place to live or die tomorrow. I would love to say that I did it all by myself, but that wouldn't be true. I may be the brain of the operation and the main composer, but the music video that you can watch and the song that you can listen to is a result of hard work of multiple talents and a few good people that helped us on various stages. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. You, my dear viewers, also helped a lot by buying my guitar courses, CDs, tabs and other stuff from me over the years. Thank you for your trust and support. It means a lot. Now you can see how much more it is than just playing cool stuff on the guitar and upload a guitar lesson on YouTube. I have to admit, it feels good to create something bigger than myself. A lot more to come, but please be patient. I could take an easy path, mix up a few patterns, and I know a lot of them, and write three typical songs in one day. But I want something more. I want to make sure that I do absolutely fucking best I can. I don't want things rise to sound like band X or Y, and I will try. Despite the fact that it's extremely difficult to come up with something actually new, but it's one of those things that make life worth living. Without a proper quality music, what would be the purpose of adding all this additional work around it? World class mix and mastering, quality video shooting, editing, playthroughs and working on tiniest details. It would be just stupid and pointless. If you like what you've heard and watched here, don't hesitate to share our music video for Of Glowing Again and instrumental playthroughs. I don't want to sound arrogant, but I truly believe that the only thing we need right now is a proper recognition. Taking into account a few brand new nearly completed compositions, I hope to confirm the words I've just said. I hope you guys will give us a credit of trust, and I can only predict that you won't be disappointed. We don't have rockstar parents, we don't have millions of dollars behind us, we are not a second Metallica. All we have is our dedication, passion for music, quality production, maybe even some talent, but that's not my role to judge, and that we take no fucking prisoners.